Hey, this is the Sporting Tribune Report. I'm Alicia. This is Fredo. We've got some headlines for you all around Southern California and our sports, our teams, oh, the Dodgers. They went out. They did not take this series, but overall, the Dodgers did beat the Padres. Look at me, Fredo, looking for a silver lining. Basically, the Dodgers lost tonight 6-1. to one. Only uh, Colton Wong prevented the shutout. Tell us what happened tonight at Dodger Stadium, Fredo. Yeah, you know, uh, it was another of those games. You know, you, you look at the way the game gets started and, you know, Juan Soto <laughs> leads off with the home run, kind of gets the Padres up on the board. And, you know, we, we've been talking about this over the last few times here that it's very important for the Dodgers to always get ahead. And, you know, it just seemed like the bats weren't hitting tonight. I mean, Mookie Betts had the first hit of the game, which was a leadoff single. Then after that, no other hit came along until the ninth inning. So Blake Snell, the pitcher for the Padres right now, he's the leading candidate to win the Cy Young Award in the National League right now. So he pitched ter a terrific outing tonight. So when there's great pitching, it's very hard for these Dodger bats to wake up. You know, just a little side note, a little asterisk, Fredo. I believe it's Blake Snell. He's a free agent after this season, right? So I'm just Ooh, saying that. That's just interesting. <laughs> and I'm not saying that because of Pepio. I'm a big fan of our young guys, uh, the Dodgers young guys. And yeah. Pepio did have a rough outing, but he did go six innings. So I'm always trying to find that silver lining. And listening to my dad talk, who's, you know, life lifelong diehard Dodger fan, he says it's better for the young guys to go through something like this now before we get to the postseason. So, again, right. just try to figure it out, right, the Dodgers. So they take off now. They're done playing the Padres. The Padres are done seeing the Dodgers for the rest of the season. They're off to Cabo. Uh, yeah. the, Dodgers, <laughs> <laughs> the Dodgers will be heading to Seattle. I mean, again, with the scheduling at the end of the season, have you ever been to a Mariners game? I've seen LAFC and the Dodgers up there, and it is freezing. I think it was colder than when I saw them in Boston. I'm just saying. Not wow. cool. <laughs> Not cool. They're going to head up there. And again, the Dodgers are so far ahead on top of their division. But I'm talking about momentum. I want them to go into uh, the postseason with that winning kind of vibe that they had all through August, right? So... We'll see how it goes. They'll be traveling tomorrow to get a day off, right? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely going to be good for them to get back on the winning side of the of the season. And of course, like you say, you know, they got to finish strong right now. And, and they do get one more home series here against the Detroit Tigers, which they are not the best team in baseball right now. So the Dodgers <laughs> definitely have an opportunity to take advantage of those three games here in Los Angeles before the playoffs begin. Okay, Fredo. Okay, I get it. So the MLB did throw us a bone, right? Dodgers. Yes, fans. yes. <laughs> After all the right traveling and the <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Now you've got some uh, interesting news. It's not an injury. What's going on with the Rams? Tell me about that. Yeah, right now there was some news. You know, earlier today, Sean McVay uh, got a chance to talk to the media, and he did mention that, you know, uh, backup quarterback for the Los Angeles Rams in Stenson Bennett uh, was put on the reserve non-football illness list. So it's very important to know that it's not an injury uh, that's going to be keeping him awake right now. And, of course, you know, Head, head coach Sean McVay just kind of mentioned, he's like, look, this is not on his right shoulder injury that he's been dealing with right now. This is something that has to do um, just nothing with football right now. And so it's kind of very shockingly to see that, okay, they're automatically going to keep him out for the next four weeks. So we don't know how or what can be wrong with Stenson Bennett right now, um, him being on the NFI list now, but uh, it's not a big shock for the Rams right now because Matthew Stafford, QB number one, is still healthy right now. And he's preparing to go ahead and take on the 49ers this Sunday afternoon after coming off a big win in Seattle. That's the thing. I, I do love that the Rams don't have that target on their back and expectations are really low this season. So it's kind of a little breathing room, right? However... We all saw how good the Niners are, at least from yeah. week one. They pretty much look like that dominating Niners team that Rams fans just can't stand. Um, 
it is the home opener at SoFi for the Rams, and that's always tough too with a sea of red jerseys. So annoying for Rams fans. <laughs> but I'm really nervous about Matthew Stafford. I mean, we don't want him to get hurt. It is the beginning of the season. We would never wish injuries on anybody. We talk about that all the time. Right. But the defense, the Niners' defense is brutal. So who is the other backup quarterback? Please tell me there is another. <laughs> well, for, for, for the Rams, there is another backup quarterback here as we do uh, look at um, – he's the his second guy. is Brett Ryan. Uh, Brett Ryan. Oh, uh, and, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so, so he, he's, been, he's been out there during the preseason. He's thrown the ball a few times, so he knows what he's doing. Um, so that okay. even Sean McVay said, hey, look, right now, Matthew Stafford's hurt. He's not, I mean, Matthew Stafford's not hurt, so he's going to be on the field. Right. So there's nothing to really worry about. Uh, but of course, you know, you can see that any minute something can happen in Matthew Stafford and someone else is going to have to come in. Um, and after that, if, so, if he gets hurt, there, at this point, there's no one else. So maybe, you know, myself, no. I'll go out there and put on the Rams uniform to help him out. <laughs> put me in, coach, right? Yeah. No, I put hear me you. in, McVay. Put me in, coach. It oh, is man, the beginning yeah. of the season, and these are professionals, the highest of the high, you know, trainers, everything is at just this elite level. So I'm not worried. It should be fine. But you know why that seed is planted is because of what just went down with Aaron Rodgers. So we, you just said it, how quickly things can change for a quarterback. And this matchup, this Sunday, it's a, it's a big game. It's division rivals. Uh, you know, I grew up. You do not like Bay Area teams. So they're coming to <laughs> LA. And they, you know, they smell blood in the water with all the negativity surrounding the Ram season and how they're supposedly mm -hmm. tanking for Caleb and all that stuff. So how do you think it's gonna go down? What is what is Vegas saying about Rams Niners? Well, that's an interesting thing that you say right now because you know, of course, the over in the first weekend of football, there was a lot of big upsets, and, and Vegas got it wrong a lot. Uh, they they yeah. literally got a lot of games wrong. But when you look at this game right now, the San Francisco 49ers are favored by eight points, uh, which is going to be a little over a touchdown for, for the Rams right now. So San Francisco seems to most likely, personally, in my opinion, I think they will cover the eight points. Um, I think right. the San Francisco 49ers are just – that good right now they are the favorites to make it to the super bowl from the nfc um especially yeah. when you look at a guy like you know christian mccaffrey you know they got nick bosa back out there and brock purdy has been you know he's been pretty purdy out there on the field so right. he's doing his thing out there so being a, being in the spotlight here at sofi stadium in los angeles um it's gonna be a very exciting game and you know like you said you don't want to see that red out there in the stands a lot but I can see this uh, this game be like 70, 30 uh, Niners because they're going to be out there. You're not going to hold these Niners fans from showing up when their team is good. Um, that's why I believe it was like that last season. And that's just the same thing that Raider fans do a lot too. Uh, when, they, when they play the Chargers here or they play the Rams, that, they, that fills up to like almost 70% Raider fans. So all these fans out here in Los Angeles can't wait to see their local teams in California come down here. So, yeah, yeah, I was at a few of those games at the Cali and at SoFi, and yeah, Niners fans show up, yeah. Rams fans selling their season tickets. I get it. I'm not judging you. Make your money, hey, whatever. Yeah. But, but give, give, I, give love to yeah. the Rams, though. Yeah. Give, give love to the Rams. I have to. No, you're right. And actually, that the eight points, that's kind of generous towards the Rams. I thought it would right, be a yeah. little different. So, bravo. I'm down. I, I can't wait to see this weekend's matchups. Um, everybody just stay healthy. You know, it's only the second week. No panicking, everybody. Everyone, all these teams, all the players, all the coaches, all the staff still trying to figure each other out. And we will stay on top of all of that for you, right, Fredo? In fact, are you going right. to be there? What was that? Are you going to be there? On no, no, not at the Rams game. No, no. I oh. There is a Chargers away game, and they got a 10 a.m. schedule out there. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be focusing on that one. But I will definitely keep my eye out for this Niner game and this Rams game. Oh, okay. I wish I, wish I could be there. I'll be at the next one. 
checking out all those Niners fans with their brand new jerseys, tags still on them. What? I'm, <laughs> they just I'm them. kidding. I'm kidding. It's fun. It's fun. No football. No fanatics. Don't come at me. All no. right, everybody. Make sure if you'd like to comment on any of our stories or any suggested teams, any headlines you want us to cover, comment. We'll check it out. Make sure you follow, share the news about the Sporting Tribune Report. It is daily, Monday through Friday. Follow, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and check us out on all the usual suspects. Thanks for hanging out.